Today we're reviewing a foldable wireless headset made by Amorno. This headset features retractable earbuds. It is foldable. It supports Bluetooth 4.1. It can pair to two devices. It has 10 hour playback time, 12 hour talk time, 180 hour standby time. It charges in three and a half hours. It also features hands-free calling and it vibrates for incoming calls. It has a noise canceling filter. With that being said, let's go ahead and run the intro and jump right into the unboxing. Hey there, my name is Adrian with ProjectRamos.com and DealsByPR.com. On this channel, I do tech reviews, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Okay, first thing we get in the box is a one-year warranty card. We get a quick guide, quick start guide. Looks like we get a USB, it's a micro USB charging cable. We also get two sets of earbud pieces. And here's the earphones. So they feature this foldable design. So on the side of the neckband, we've got the on and off button here. We've got a volume slider here. So you slide it down for volume down, slide it up for volume up. And then this is, uh, I'm not sure if you can catch it on the camera here, but a little hole here and that's the uh, microphone. And then this button here is the multi-function button. And then on the inside of the neck brace, we also have the charging port down here. Let's see if I can get that in focus right here. So you can see there's a little cover right inside of the neck band. And also on the inside of the neck band is this button here. And then on the flip side is a similar button. And what this button is used for is to retract the earbuds. So when you pull these out, there you go there. And then you use these buttons to retract them back into the neck band, just like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use my iPhone 10 to pair this headset to my phone. I've got my iPhone 10 here, and now we're gonna turn the headset on, and it should jump right into uh, Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'm just gonna switch to the on position, and the neck band vibrated, and you can tell here this LED is now flashing red and blue, which means that it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. So I'm just gonna take a quick look over here on my phone and there's the headset right there, Amarno SX888. So I'm just gonna choose that and now we are paired. As soon as it paired, it did make a prompt in the earbuds, um, although I didn't have the earbuds on, so I'm not really sure what it said, but I imagine it's something along the lines that the headset is now paired. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some time and listen to some different genres of music and I'll be back with my final thoughts of the Amarno foldable wireless headset. Now that I had a chance to test all the features of this headset and also tested out the uh, sound quality, uh, let's go over my final thoughts of this headset. Uh, first, let's talk about the design. It is made out of plastic and the band here is very flexible. So my first thought when I seen the uh, picture of the headset was if the plastic here was very rigid, then that's gonna be a breaking point. But in fact, it's not rigid, it's very flexible, so it doesn't feel like it's gonna break. Um, you can actually twist it this way, do it this, you know, bend it this way, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap at all. It's very bendable. Now, this section of the headphone here, these pieces here, this piece is rigid. This will not bend. However, at the connection point here, right here on the band, this portion of it does bend. So it has it's very flexible. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break at all. The retractable earbuds, this little design feature is actually pretty neat. And it does give you a little bit of feedback uh, as you're pulling out the earbuds to let, let you know when you're when you pulled them out completely. So um, I don't think you're gonna run into any issues of you know pulling this too far because it does start giving you, you know, it, it, it starts to give you a little bit of, um, of pull when you get into the end of the, uh, the wire there. 
and the feature of retracting it back to the neck band is actually pretty cool. It snaps them right into place. And uh, so when you're wearing them like this, first thing you wanna do is just pull them out, pop them in your ear, and that's it. And then as soon as you're done, you just push both buttons, goes right back into the neck band and you're good to go. Then you can just fold it like this. So the folding feature is actually really cool and very useful because once you fold it up like this, you could just throw it into your uh, gym bag or your, uh, your backpack and you're good to go. And then just simply unfold, throw it over your neck, pull out the earbuds, pop them in your ear and you're good to go. Next, let's talk about the audible feedback of this headset. When you have the earbuds in, there's a, um, a female voice that gives you audible feedback on a few things. Uh, one of the things it'll give you audible feedback on is when you have an incoming call. It'll say incoming call and it announces the phone number that's calling you. It doesn't pick up your phone book, so it's not gonna give you the name of that's attached to the phone number, but it will give you the phone number of the incoming uh, call. It also alerts when the headset is on. And so when you first turn it on, it'll say headset on, and then it'll give you the status of the battery. It'll tell you if it's uh, fully charged, if it's you know medium, low, or if you need to recharge the headset. It also alerts when the headset is off. So once you switch it to the opposite position, it'll, it'll alert you and say headset off. Um, it'll also alert you when the headset is out of Bluetooth range. So if you begin to walk away from your phone and it loses connection, it'll let you know that it lost Bluetooth connection. And the same is true um, if you come back into Bluetooth range and it reconnects, it'll let you know that it is now in Bluetooth range and it's now reconnected. Next, let's talk about the vibration feature of this headset. When we first uh, paired this headset uh, via Bluetooth, it vibrated to let us know that um, the headset is now paired. And I also tested with an incoming call and it also vibrated to let you know that there's an incoming call. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can demonstrate that here real quick. I'm just gonna initiate an incoming call using Google Voice. I just initiated the call. And I'm gonna try to get this close to the microphone. And you can hear that vibrating. Hopefully the microphone's picking up the uh, vibration there. So it does vibrate and it seems like it vibrates on the right side. And it also vibrates when you first turn on the headset. So I'm gonna shut it off now and I'm gonna turn it back on and try to get this close to the mic and see if I can get it to pick up the vibration. So I'm gonna turn it on now and there you go. You can hear it vibrate when it turns on. Next, let's talk about the phone call quality. I called my wife to test out the quality of this headset and I was able to hear her pretty well. And she said that I sounded clear. Uh, she was able to understand um, everything I was saying. She said I sound just a little bit muffled and I would figured, you know, that was to be expected because the mic is on the outside of the headset. So she said it was just a little tiny bit uh, muffled, but she was able to hear me clear, no issues there. Next, let's talk about the volume slider. At first glance, I thought that this was just simply a volume slider, but it does much more than that. So aside from uh, controlling the volume, and I do wanna uh, point out one thing that if you do buy one of these headsets, if you want the volume to go up or the volume down, you have to slide it up and hold it and then it will begin to incrementally increase the volume or do the opposite, slide it down and hold it, and it'll begin, uh, begin to incrementally decrease the volume. Now, the slider has other functionalities, such as if you, um, you can use it to skip forward or backward on uh, tracks, on music tracks. Uh, you could also use it to summon Siri. So if you need to make a phone call, uh, you can bring up Siri using the volume slider and then just tell Siri what phone, you know, uh, who in your contacts you want to call. The volume slider also has another feature it controls. Um, the headset is supposed to come with some preset EQ settings and you're supposed to be able to switch the EQ settings with the volume slider. I couldn't get that to work, so um, I'm not really sure if that's a feature that doesn't work with the iPhone 10, and maybe with Android phones it does work. If it's an issue with iOS, I'm not sure. 
But on my iPhone 10, I couldn't get it to uh, change EQ settings. Um, the uh, music as I was uh, toggling it um, sounded exactly the same. Uh, I would get an audible alert to let me know that it was cycling through the different EQ presets, but sound-wise, it sounded the same to me, so I'm not sure what's going on there. A couple other features that this headset has that is useful is that you can pair it to two different devices. So if you have a phone and an iPad, you can pair it to both devices and change simultaneously between the two without having to repair the headset. The other useful feature that this headset has is an automatic 10 minute shutoff. So as soon as it loses Bluetooth connection, 10 minutes after that, it'll automatically shut off to save your battery. Now let's talk about the sound quality of this headset. This headset is very loud, so it's ideal for those that are gonna be using this headset for fitness workouts, especially if you're gonna be running outside. Um, the outside elements can get, you know, very distracting as far as the loudness goes. So with this headset, you're gonna be able to crank it up very loud and pretty much tune out whatever's going on around you. Now let's talk about the frequency response of this headset. The bass or the low end on music playback is very prominent. It's very loud uh, as far as the bass is concerned. The mids are also very prominent, very loud. Uh, the good thing about the bass is that it's not so heavy to where when you have the earbuds in your ears that you're gonna feel the um, air moving in and out of your ear. So the bass is loud, it's prominent, but it's not so heavy that you're gonna feel air going in and out. Now on the high end, um, this headset rolls off the high end quite a bit, which means that your music is not gonna sound as clear as it might with other headsets. Um, and also because the high end is rolled off, quite a bit it gives you like a boxed sound in the music because the low end and the mids are boosted the high end is rolled off so it gives you that kind of a boxed sound this headset does leave something to be desired when it comes to clarity in listening to your music as i mentioned earlier this headset does have eq presets now with my iphone 10 running ios 12 i couldn't get those presets to work so I don't know if it's an issue with, um, with the iPhone 10 and iOS 12 in particular, but um, I think that if those EQ presets were uh, working, you might be able to compensate for that high-end roll-off. And that may be the reason why the high-end was rolled off so much. It might have been in a preset where the high-end is rolled off, and there might be a different preset that might be able to um, change that EQ curve so that your music sounds more clear. And now for the million dollar question, is this headset worth your hard earned money? It sells for $33.99 on Amazon. Overall, I think that you're getting quite a bit of value for the money. This headset does have a lot of features and depending on how you're gonna be using this headset, those features can come in handy. Um, it is targeted for individuals that want a headset for workout routines. And for that scenario, this headset works out great because this neck band, you know, goes over your neck here. It's very comfortable. And the fact that this piece is flexible, it's not, you know, it's bendable. It's not gonna break at any point. At least it doesn't feel like it does. I mean, you can twist it, you can bend it, nothing happens to it. So construction wise, it's constructed really well where it's not gonna break easily. Um, and it goes over your ear, you know, over your neck here. All you gotta do is pull out the earbuds, pop them in your ear, and you're good to go. Very easy. And the controls on this um, on this uh, headset are very intu intuitive. The fact that it has the vibration feedback for incoming calls is pretty cool. Um, especially, you know, if you are using it for working out it will get your attention because it's gonna audibly tell you there's an incoming call, it's gonna vibrate, so it's gonna get your attention. Um, overall, I think you're getting quite a bit of value for the cost of this product. Now, sound quality wise, if sound quality is very important to you, I'm not sure that this is a headset for you, being that in my experience of using this headset, having the high end rolled off, uh, for somebody that's looking for really good quality music reproduction, that might be a little bit of a turnoff. So that's just something to keep in mind. But if that part of it is not that important to you and all the features that we went over 
sound uh, like it's something that you've been looking for, then this is definitely the headset for you. And if we were able to get those EQ presets to work, that might be able to fix the issue of the high end being rolled off uh, too much in my opinion. But overall, I do think you're getting quite a bit of value in this headset for the cost of the product. This is gonna complete my review of the Amorino wireless foldable headset. If you found some value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you were to subscribe. That way you get notified the next time we upload a new video. And on that note, I will see you on the next review.